Hello everyone, I'm Sebastian Lacido and welcome to Headlines of Prophecy. I'm going to open with a couple of scriptures here. First, 1 Timothy chapter 4. It says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times, that's the last days, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which God's created to be re received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing is to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. Amen. And so it says, Now the Spirit, in capital S, the Holy Spirit, expressly says that in the latter times, that's the last days, that's the time period before Jesus returns, that some will depart from the faith. In other words, they're going to apostate the faith. They're going to be part of the faith. They're going to depart from it. And the reason they will is that they're giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. The other, uh, another translation says giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of devils or doctrines of Satan. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. In other words, you know, when you look at it, it says that in the latter times there's going to be an apostasy because church leaders, church teachers, and church members, Christians, true Christians, are going to give heed to, they're going to buy into, they're going to accept, they're going to adapt uh, d doctrines of demons and, and deceiving spirits, which means it's not God's word, it's, it's, it's not his, it's, it's flesh, it's man, it's Satan. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. In other words, they once had a conscience that was right and now it's seared with a hot iron. Forbidding to marry and commanding that to abstain from foods which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. So now they bring in two of the many doctrines. I, I think there's a dozen that we could probably teach today. But one is forbidding to marry. And, you know, through church history, uh, because of the division between the Catholics and the Protestants, many thought that this was the Catholicism because they forbid uh, priests to marry. And I don't think that was the case here. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know it, it could be, but I, I don't believe that. I believe that this, these scriptures are for today. There's such an assault on marriage today between alternative sexual orientations, gay lifestyle, the homosexual agenda, gay marriage, uh, transgender, transgender marriage. Now there's gender neutrality. You can't even identify as uh, a, a man or a woman. Forms are being changed. Things are happening rapidly. And I believe just like gay marriage and just like homosexual marriage, which is completely outlawed in the Bible. Uh, when you go to Romans chapter 1, it says three times, talking about homosexuality, that God said, I'm going to give you over to a reprobate mind. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to let you go in your sin. But at the end of chapter 1, he says, but you're going to pay for it. You're going to be judged for it. And so homosexuality, gay marriage, transgenderism, alternative sexual orientation, even the identity of a, of a male and a female is all contrary to, to the word of God. It's completely against God's word. And like we've seen with many denominations and many churches accepting uh, gay marriage and accepting you know, uh, homosexual agenda and indoctrinating it into their churches, we're going to see, an, again, an assault on Mary. And I believe when it says forbidding to marry, the laws of our land are changing. In fact, there's a, there's a bill that went through the House of Representatives, U.S. House of Representatives. It's in the parliamentarium in the Senate that would forbid the Bible to be used in public spaces like restaurants and banquet halls, public parks. And the reason why is that it's bigoted in that it identifies a man and a woman as being marriage, as God created it, as God intended. And so it, it's bigoted. And so, you know, this assault is part of this great apostasy. If you're, you know, turn over to, or, or you can study 2 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, it says, Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him. So the two subjects are the coming of Jesus and our gathering together to him. 
the gathering together is the rapture and resurrection. But I want to show you something. Verse 2, it says, Not be soon shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word, or as by letter from us, as though the day of Christ or the day of the Lord has come. Let no one deceive you by any means. So there's going to be plenty of opportunity for deception. Be warned, don't be deceived. For that day will not come unless, so what day? The second coming of Jesus and our gathering together and the rapture and the resurrection will not come first unless the falling away comes first. And the falling away in the Greek is apostasia. It's apostate. So in, if, unless there come an apostasy or an apostate of the church where there's a departure from the faith, a great departure from the faith, and the son of sin is revealed, that's Antichrist. So it's basically saying that if you look chronologically, Jesus can't return, there can't be a rapture and a resurrection until there's a great apostasy first, Antichrist comes and continues that apostasy, and then Jesus can return and the rapture and resurrection can occur. So when you look at you know what we looked at in 1 Timothy, that now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter time some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits, doctrines of demons. Essentially, it's talking about the church evolving into embracing the social culture or the alternative lifestyles or alternative sexual orientations, homosexuality, gay marriage, transgender, this new gender neutrality or, or, or lack of gender identity. And so, you know, we're going to see continued migration out of the faith into these areas. And the Bible makes it very clear uh, that this is going to happen in the last days. And it's hypocrisy, it's sin, it's, it's reprobate as far as the Bible is concerned. And so we have decisions on what we believe and what we do. I believe that God can write a book. If he created the sun and the moon and the stars and all of the universes, uh, he can write a book that tells us what he expects of us and what we should believe and not believe. And so I embrace the Bible and I pray that you do as well. So, you know, uh, continue to see, we're going to continue to see the headlines move. Uh, we're going to continue to see our nation as well as the nations of the world legitimize sin. Isaiah chapter 5 tells us, you know, that when good, you know, which is what God created and God put in place becomes evil, right? And then when evil becomes good, a nation will pay and the world will pay. And so that's where we're at today. Uh, that's our headline in prophecy. If you're not a member of our ministry, please Go to our website, watchersoftruth.com. That's watchersoftruth.com. Sign up to be a free member. You have access to free curriculum. There's a 12-part a uh, curriculum on the end times. It's free to you. The workbook's free to you. The videos are free to you. Uh, are You Sure?, which has to do with salvation. Understanding Jesus, which is about the life of Jesus. And then we have a home study series called uh, you know, uh, uh, visions, symbols, uh, prophecy, which you can get. Again, all of that is for free by signing up. And then we teach every Tuesday evening a general Bible study at 7 p.m. And at Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, I teach an end time study for an hour. You By signing up, you'll get notes to both of those uh, before we teach. And that again, that's watchersoftruth.com. And Stay tuned. Uh, next Monday, we'll have another headline in prophecy. God bless you and have a blessed week. Thank you.